I bought this succulent a few weeks ago and I haven't watered it, I haven't changed the soil, I haven't done anything to it except kept it in a semi shaded protected area and look what happened to it it's now started to rot so that is still the same soil that it came in so we had uh, some rain but this one actually didn't get wet at all and as you can see it's fairly dry and this one just decided to die hello there my name is Liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents In Australia, we have this accent where we say, instead of today, we say to die. Because a lot of people are guilty of doing this. You pick a succulent and then you pick the pot and then you put them in there and then you put it away and then hoping that that thing will still grow. Put it in a nice little windowsill or somewhere in your office or bedroom and then they will etiolate and eventually they will die. So that's, I think that's, that's the idea of these plants. But we don't want that. We want them to grow. We want to have lots of babies. So that one I haven't potted up or I haven't repotted and it still died. And I do have some that I repotted. This one I bought about eight months ago and it was growing marvelously, but we've had a lot of rain. So this is now in my soil. Okay, so I just put it in my master succulent soil mix, which is not really good because one it's got a plastic uh, pot you're best using master succulent soil mix with a terracotta pot so the plant can breathe and look at that even that's all rotting away and this is already a goner so you can see that's just rotted the whole thing is just rotted so i will attribute this to or put it down to say a bad strain of tissue cultures because most of these plants are just tissue cultured plants yesterday I bought this plant for $35, only bought it because I'm after this plant here, which is an Achivria Govoidis Romeo. Now it also has some um, Longissima and also a uh, Crassula ovata and also a bluebird. So this bluebird, okay, this bluebird and that bluebird, so normally this bluebird would turn into something sort of red like that okay I'll just show the edges there you go so that's the color this is grown in the sun and then that one is just obviously grown in a succulent farm so now when I bought this yesterday brought it home and today I want to inspect it yesterday when I bought it that leaf there was all like this so now if I go look here so another one here so having bought yesterday there you go ah it dropped sorry bluebird okay so now so cocoa peat perlite and some fertilizer and hang on let's go inspect the plant so that plant there oops that leaf okay see it's already got a mark but doesn't matter but uh, I can see some translucency on the edge there see that tip there so that's on its way out I only have a couple of bluebird, it's a very really bluebird that grew from a leaf. So maybe it's the wrong time of the year when I pluck them. But anyway, I had successful head chop with them. So I am going to stick to head chopping with them. Oh, hang on. I'm just working away. So I need to remove all this soil, first of all, so I can repot this. So anyway, I'll put that one there. I've got a camera sling on my neck. So that way... I can do this video and have two free hands. Okay, I'll just put this away first. Again, this one, the Grossula, this one as well. We take that off. I'll just leave you there. Should clean up the soil. And when you clean up the soil, I mean really clean up the soil. And that one, I'll just put that one over here, over there. This one now, I need to, I got a tray there. So all my soil goes into that tray squeeze 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 and see how it just coming off okay so when they had this in the shop they just watered it that's probably why now it's all like rotting see now you have to immediately remove that rotting thing or else it will crawl up into the rest of the plant so I've got three leaves I've got one look at that oh 
See, one, two, three. That's rotted. Get my tweezer. I have my poker somewhere, but I can't find it right now. So, we just remove everything. So, expose the stem and also the roots. Because sometimes, um, well, the roots is insignificant, really. But I still, um, I find that they don't really grow from the old roots. They form new roots and grow from that. So I'm going to take them all off. Okay, and I normally dunk this in soil wera to remove those ones easily. But I just want to show you the damage underneath here. See, look. Look at that. So that's flowered. So obviously this Romeo flowered before. And that's probably why. Maybe it's got mealybug as well. That's why. Just side to side. Shake it from side to side. Okay, there you go. Success. I'm able to pull it out neatly. Now the next one, hold it from the top. There you go. Now it broke off, it doesn't matter. Now this one as well. Okay, that one's nice and neat as well. Or did no it broke off as well, but it doesn't matter. So now we get rid of this because there's an open wound and also rotting. I don't really want to dunk this into any liquid at the moment. So what I'm gonna do with this one is let this dry up. And we're gonna take our little Romeo. Romeo, oh Romeo, okay, shake, 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 okay, and put it in there. I'm going to pretend they all went in because I can't see what I'm doing here. i got the camera blocking my view, <laughs> but if I push the camera on the side, then you can't see. There you go. So anyway, so I just have to check. <laughs> so now we'll put it somewhere in the shade. In this case, I've got the spot here. There you go. So I'll let it dry up and see how I sort of just put it in the edge. That way the air can go in there and go up to the top and dry it up. You can also use a hair dryer to dry it up if you like, but I like to let it dry up naturally. It doesn't take long. A couple of hours with the temperature we're having today, I think it's 25 degrees right now, then that should dry up fairly quickly. So this is now a couple of days later. I forgot. I haven't forgotten it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, okay, my little pot. So this is the pot I use. So I just drill the hole or burn the hole through, cut it out and burn it through. So this is just ordinary pot for a little drying, air drying area. So anyway, the soil is fairly dry. I've seen people wash this and whatever. I don't bother, okay? So I'll just check the bottom to see how much soil is still left in there. So there you go. So this is, hang on, let's just go there. So nice and clean. You could dunk this in seaweed solution or sea salt or anything you have uh, to rehydrate the roots. But I'm not even going to bother because my soil is still fairly moist. Okay, so it's still, look at that. So you still sort of clumps up. So this is my master succulent soil mix, which is not an ideal soil mix at the moment because we've been getting a lot of rain, but it's forecast 30s degrees Celsius for the next coming days. So that's why I'm just gonna put it in terracotta pot so that way it can breathe. So normally I put my Romeo in my advanced soil mix, which is a drier, more rocky mix. But since I do want this to grow because I just want this to grow for propagating and this is earmark for next year, I'm gonna chop the head off so I can have more babies. So I'm just gonna use the soil, uh, my master succulent soil mix. So fairly, I'm gonna get it from the bottom and okay just tap it a little bit and so now because this thing is okay so I want it to grow in the center I mean put it in the center so I'm just gonna create a hole 
So no need to air dry or wash or because it doesn't make any difference to the plant. Whether they're clean or they have the bottom wash or anything like that. Whether they have toothpaste or whatever. So anyway, so now I'm just going to guide it and put it in there and see how I'm just pushing the soil to fill up the gap. Now, okay, I don't like any soil or dirt touching the leaf at all because that can absorb moisture. The leaf will absorb moisture, believe me. So if it does rain, we want to keep the water as much as possible away from the leaves. There you go. Isn't that nicely done? Beautiful. Now we tap it. Okay. And I'm going to put this away. There you go. So now that's going to stop it from rotting. And I am now in my 50 shade cloth area. When I say 50, it's 50% 50 UV. So it, this is now around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So some parts of this get sun and that area there doesn't get any sunlight. It's got bright light but no sunlight. So I'm going to put my newly potted Romeo in there. And to join, hang on, I'll just put this pink champagne over here. So that is a pink champagne. And that is a white champagne. Why am I talking funny again? Okay, so I'm just going to leave that Romeo there to settle down. I'm not going to water it. I'm going to leave it there for a week or two, depending on how the soil or the pot feels. So right now it's still pretty heavy because the soil is still moist. So I would say it's still actually got 40% water content. Though soil is more dry than wet. And it's my master succulent soil mix, so I usually use that for my terracotta pot. But not for my Romeos, but I have used it now for my Romeos. So these ones are also planted in my master succulent soil mix. These Romeos have been growing in here for the last couple of months and they're doing fine. So that way uh, that newly planted or potted one can join the other one. So next year, these ones, I'm going to head chop them and grow some more babies and just as an added bonus I am going to show you my head chop I really want to see my <laughs> head chop ebony here how it's doing so this one has been chopped off I think May is when I cut their heads off and it is now November so that's what five six months so it's about six months, six months old, because it's going to be December soon. So six months old and look at you, three healthy new ebony. And the mummy, the mummy of this one, I'll show you the mummy where I cut the head off, is that one. And she's still growing healthy, beautiful plants and it's actually got bigger. So there you go. So I haven't lost anything. In fact, I gained three new plants. So I'll just put this with the rest of the gang here. So those plants, those leaves came from that plant. And then the other ones, so these are the ones that we stripped earlier. Don't know if you're going to grow, but... And this one too. We'll just salvage because I don't think, yep, the whole plant is already dead. Okay, so I might as well take all the leaves. They're slow to strike. Only because I have uh, plucked the leaves in winter, so they're a bit slow for me. But now this is the first time I'm going to have them. I'm going to take a propagation. This one doesn't want to come off. Okay, I'm going to leave a couple of them there. See what happens. Okay, if that will still hang on the other. So I just clean this up. Okay, so this one I'm going to put you in the sick bay just another sick bay here that's a um, chihuahuaensis that got hit by the rain and i just 
before I could even pot it up it already rotted away so same as the other one so this one is in my soil mix and that one was in that peat moss the peat moss which is horrible stuff and that's the tip of it and the tip if it grows it grows if it doesn't it doesn't and now I'm gonna show you my bluebird where's my bluebird I have very 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 few bluebird so this devastation here are all bluebirds and out of that lot there's at least a hundred leaves that I've taken from the bluebirds that I've got when I potted them up uh, eight months ago and look only one okay hang on the rest of them look they sort of uh, bump up like that or pimpled up but that's already no good, no good. So I've got one with no roots yet. See, two. Are you good? That's only a pimple, but it's no good. That one's the same. So, so far I only have three and four that will have a plant. Five, there you go. And six. Oh, seven. Oh, it's growing. It's more. So that one is all the above. So seven. How many? Eight. Yes. Eight. Come on. Do I get 10%? So the 29th of May. There you go. So when I took this bluebird and show me, show me some bluebird. Nine. Come on. Just 10%. 10%. Not yes okay another one the rest will be dead but i'm still gonna leave them there and see how they go and i am not gonna water that until they grow roots 